Prime Minister Hun Sen from the Kingdom of Cambodia. May I begin by expressing my appreciation to you for the hospi hospitality accorded to my colleagues, the ministers and the delegation. Although it is uh, quite a short visit during the fasting month, but it is of course um, memorable and meaningful one. Um, you have said rightly that we've been friends for the last 26 or 7 years and um, had somewhat similar experience and fate. <laughs> and um, we both have strong, formidable characters, uh, our wives as our pillars in the period of difficulty. And uh, I mentioned in the, during the bilateral meeting how touched I was when um, I was incarcerated and here was this Prime Minister asking for my wife, asking for my welfare and showing so much concern and that was something that I value in friendship. Now discussions have been very elaborate and comprehensive touching on the issues of uh, trade which is, and investments which happen to be our priority in our bilateral relations but also some of the other, other concerns which was alluded to by the Prime Minister just now. Uh, on the specific uh, issues like uh, the halal industry which uh, Malaysia has quite developed and it would give opportunity for both Malaysia and Cambodia um, to use this facility in order to encourage uh, and facilitate export to Muslim countries, in particular the Middle East. Um, the Prime Minister mentioned the success of rice production, which, which is something commendable, although you say there is surplus, but um, I know for a fact that uh, rice production is not something easy, but you have uh, increased the productivity and I think I would certainly encourage the Malaysian uh, rice um, uh, company that uh, caters for import of rice to consider an option to import rice and cashew nuts from Cambodia. Um, there are areas that the Prime Minister has been in a very meticulous manner, item by item, and I must uh, appreciate that you have wide experience in this um, to, to ensure that we take down uh, notes and, and, and deal with it uh, specifically. Uh, for example, issues like um, uh, what, what we have agreed before to utilize the availability of bamboo in Cambodia uh, to get investors to help process it and export. Uh, we, you have mentioned the issues of uh, the need to uh, continue training other than the government to government uh, matters like defense and technical expertise and administration. You have also alluded to the issue of digital technology and education, uh, which we will of course uh, be able to work together once the joint committee uh, sit down, hopefully by the end of the year. I think it is Malaysia's turn to host uh, after a lapse of many years. But I must also express my thanks, uh, Prime Minister, because Cambodia has been one of the countries that have been most forthcoming and helpful when uh, we have to deal with the job scam issue, which also affects your citizens, but then uh, you were helpful in um, trying in, in assisting us um, to, to bring back 287 Malaysian victims of job scam and um, from the report of my colleagues Cambodia under your leadership is quite outstanding in terms of giving fullest support and collaboration in these efforts so thank you very much it means a lot to the hundreds of families affected by this scam. 
On the other issues like um, general agriculture cooperation, education, HRD training, digital, and even a specific proposal by Excellency Prime Minister Hun Sen on the um, need to use the part ASEAN grid for the um, export of uh, gas from Laos, uh, Cambodia, through Malaysia or Thailand, Malaysia to Singapore. Uh, this has been raised, and I think we would. Uh, it's our duty to help facilitate this process, and the technical discussions will be conducted by the relevant officers. Prime Minister, with his wide uh, experience, uh, of course, have uh, better uh, was in a better position and is in a better position to deliberate on more complex issues like Myanmar. We did touch on the subject quite uh, in a lengthy manner because it's no longer an internal issue of Myanmar, but because it's affecting Malaysia with more than 200,000 refugees uh, from Myanmar, mostly Rohingyas. And by I said, uh, I trust in the wisdom of the Prime Minister because you have managed to secure peace in a more complex um, manner in uh, Cambodia as compared to what's happening in Myanmar now. Um, this is a clear example of how a country besieged by civil war and uh, violence uh, could achieve finally peace and order. So I think uh, I would look forward to your contribution in the next ASEAN Summit to try and probably uh, provide some ideas in this comprehensive framework to show that we understand the predicament, the problems in Myanmar, but at the same time, the Myanmar leadership of Junta must also understand that this matter cannot continue. Uh, unresolved. Uh, so thank you again. On the others, like South China Sea, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Korean uh, Peninsula, and Taiwan, China, I think we share similar views. Um, and and uh, I look forward to, Prime Minister Hun Sen, for your next visit to Kuala Lumpur to have the next dinner because we, yeah. we, <laughs> you that, that dinner was a long time ago. I forgot why we eat also at that time. And um, um, but uh, uh, I must conclude by expressing my thanks again. Uh, you are uh, kind enough to host this great uh, uh, we call iftar or breakfast during fasting month uh, with uh, thousands of Muslims in. Cambodia that reflect your understanding of uh, tolerance, of respect for other uh, minorities, and uh, which, which I think is what the world lack now. There's so much hatred, misunderstanding, intolerance. And you have shown, Prime Minister Hun Sen, that you are uh, willing uh, to accommodate the, the feelings, sensitivities of others and kind enough to uh, in, invite me to join you in this great festival of uh, breakfast, uh, we call it because we fast to the breakfast at 7 o'clock uh, or, or, or earlier. So thank you again.